How's it going, boys? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. So this is a correction video because the first video I put out, I didn't have a good understanding of this tool by Ryan Glasgow. Uh, this is the twist and fix. Uh, I thought it was a one piece unit, uh, which I'm mistaken. And so that's why I'm correcting it. So I did make the other one uh, private and we can uh, link to it later. But uh, so the third that I had a uh, thought that I had before uh, was that it was a fixed unit. And then you can actually just use the tool. Uh, so if you actually wanted to uh, work on your knife, you'd actually kind of look for the tool that you needed. And then once you found it, then you could use that one. Uh, so there I found the tool uh, that would be for it. So I figured that it would stay in there and then you'd make the, the adjustments, which was really bulky and didn't work too well. Uh, but as some people have uh, uh, pointed out, it separates. So now you have your tool. Uh, you have a good amount of uh, force you can put on it because it has a pretty long device, a little box fell down. Uh, but now you can actually work on it and actually take it apart and then actually uh, use it uh, to uh, loosen and tighten as well. Uh, so that is something that I didn't realize at first. Uh, so I am uh, mistaken on that. Uh, so it is more useful now that I know that it comes apart from there. Uh, so that also wouldn't really make much sense if they put... Uh, also, that was another I guess, note or something that I was saying is if they had put what tool it was, uh, it wouldn't make sense because you could actually move these around to anywhere you wanted to. So this is kind of like a fidget toy uh, as well if you actually wanted to just have this hanging around. Uh, but it is something that uh, is somewhat useful still uh, and more useful now than I initially thought. Uh, so this is a, uh, a MSRP of $19.99. Uh, if you go have a sportsman's warehouse near you, I think it was about a little bit under 13. So it's 12 something. And most sites have it for anywhere from 12 to uh, $15 that you can pick up. And so it has a lot of different ones. So it does have the like, screwdriver head that has some uh, little uh, hex, uh, hex bolt ones. And then as well, it has some uh, other torques that are larger than this. Uh, this has a very useful uh, 5 through 10. Uh, so that's actually going to be what you're going to be using for most of your knives. Uh, so it does separate fairly well for it and then you can put it right back in there uh, for the clipping so thank you for the folks that have pointed it out i uh, guess at first it was just like okay well you're going to use this loosen it up and then you're trying to spin it around and as you're doing that then these little other ones are kind of uh, poking in and out and would probably mar up your knife uh, so that's my mistake so hey it happens but uh, that's why I'm making this other video for it. Uh, it is useful. It is a tool that is fairly handy and just interesting to fidget with. So if you just want to mess around with something, uh, that's where um, you can have a functional uh, fidget spinner in a sense. Uh, so that's where this comes about into play. It works well on the knives. Uh, the actual tolerance on it uh, when working with the Torx is pretty decent. I haven't really done a lot of uh, heavy uh, twisting on it. So I don't know how this is going to um, stand up against uh, your standard like the Weeha bits or something else uh, but uh, so far it's been working pretty decently as far as the little testing that I've been able to do with it so sorry for the original video of about 70 somewhat of you that watched that one uh, so a little bit of a miscommunication on it as far as the information but I didn't see anything out on it and also didn't come with an instruction manual not that I would read that anyway uh, but it had a little tag on it that I cut off and I was like okay well that's kind of interesting and I just started to try and mess with it. And when I tried to actually take it off before, I was like, oh, that's pretty solid on there. So I didn't actually put enough force on it to actually take it out. So as it rotates down, uh, it does give you a little bit of a leverage point to it. And you can just take it off and then put it back on there. So now that I have a better understanding of it, uh, then it actually is more useful than I thought. Uh, would it be one to replace some of the ones that I have for uh, home maintenance? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, still, it's uh, one that would probably still use a regular bit driver, uh, but this does have a lot more uh, torque and uh, stability than you would have on a standard uh, torque wrench. I mean, uh, basically a standard uh, standard tool, and just the way that it is. So it lands pretty well. So if you really need to have a really tight one in there, as far as one of the screws, you can put a lot of downward uh, pressure on it and actually get a good twist on it to uh, loosen things up which is more, more so when a lot of these have a lot of the red Loctite or something on there that's just not wanting to budge. Uh, of course, you use some heat or anything else with that. But that's the CRKT one. So 
Ryan, uh, good job on the design, uh, kind of fun to mess around with. Uh, and then it actually is more useful than I initially thought. So thanks again for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you folks for pointing it out as far as my misunderstanding of a tool. And that's how it goes. So thank you very much for your time. Let me know in the comments and have a good day. The twist and fix. Uh, so it has all your standard ones that you're going to want uh, for your knife maintenance and you're from T5 all the way to T10. Uh, so this is one that I saw that was pretty interesting. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, uh, I like mechanisms. I like how it is. Uh, so this was kind of something that was interesting to me uh, to have it available, have all your tools handy uh, to do any of the maintenance that you have for your knives. Uh, but I did find some issues with it. Um, it has some limitations that I think that other tools would work out better for it. Uh, but uh, this one is one that is handy. I put it to um, my glove box and then it might be something good for a tackle bag or some type of um, other product that you're taking with you. Uh, it's for, more for maintenance and not for uh, the total disassembly side, but more just tightening things down as you need it, uh, more so than disassembly and putting back together. Uh, so in this one here, I have some you know, little of uh, the, the uh, Torx bits here. Uh, so one thing about it, uh, there's not a really good way to identify uh, what bit you have. Uh, so I would prefer to have some type of numbering system on the top, um, something that uh, is easy to identify. Uh, again, you can kind of uh, go through it to try and get that right size for it, but it's a little bit easier uh, to have one of the sides or something that actually uh, listed that because it is imprinted uh, into the steel. So you can actually see that as you go, uh, but it does make it a little bit more difficult uh, to work with the tools uh, overall. Uh, so as we get to the other one, so this is the T6. Uh, so uh, for regular maintenance side, so if you just have something a little bit loose, you're going to tighten it down, you'll be good. Uh, but to actually do uh, disassembly on it, uh, it's going to be kind of a pain because as you're you know, moving this around, uh, these other bits could mar your knife up. Uh, so as you're trying to twist that around uh, and then uh, so that's not the best part of it uh, so you can move I guess the knife on it but uh, as you're kind of twisting it uh, it does kind of become uh, more cumbersome uh, to do that uh, than to actually use a regular bit for it so as I see you have these little Weha ones uh, which is more like a maintenance one so it has this little part right here where you can kind of twist it to get some speed on it to actually do some disassembly uh, for the knife as well as even a regular um, Torx bit for it. Uh, but of course, this is gonna be very good for more maintenance side, uh, just to tighten things up, make sure that they're actually uh, functioning properly. Uh, but once you have it available, I mean, you can drop these out uh, really quickly uh, for that, and then put the scale on. And so this one's gonna be uh, one of the knives from uh, Gerber, that is the pocket square. There you see if you pop that on there, and you got to get this on here. So I'm having a difficult time with that. So there's going to be, um, it might be something just to get used to, uh, but uh, overall, I mean, the ability that you have with just a regular uh, bit driver is going to be uh, uh, probably far superior uh, than this tool. So this is going to be something just to take with you and have in your pack uh, so you don't lose all these other, other bits or other driver pieces because uh, for these you're going to have it around. Uh, it might be something at home. Uh, this is probably something where you're going to take it with you and actually do some maintenance and do some tightening as you go but not a full disassembly because uh, that's where I see some of the limitations on it. So price wise uh, for it uh, you're going to have a retail price at $19.00 and 99 cents uh, through CRKT's website. I picked it up from Sportsman's Warehouse. It was sitting on their shelf uh, for almost $13. So it was a little bit less, I think 12 and some change. And so it's an interesting thing to have. Uh, for me, I would have this kind of as that spare, uh, again, in my glove box, because uh, one thing that I did have uh, when I was taking a knife around uh, one of the uh, Pasteron knives, uh, the, the pocket clip got a little bit loose and I was like, oh, all right, well, I'm just gonna put this in the glove box uh, for now because I don't have any bits. 
and I actually had this in my glove box, uh, so I was able to get it to the right uh, bit size, tighten it up, and off I went, able to actually experience that knife for the day, other than having it sit in my glove box. So it does have its purpose, uh, but that's where I think it excels, is just keeping everything together, and then also just being able to do those tightening things and not maintenance on your tools. Uh, so let me know as far as what you think on the, uh, the twist and fix uh, from CRKT. If you agree with it, or if you feel that I'm just using the tool wrong, I guess let me know in the comments down below as far as uh, what the better way is to do that. Uh, but that is the CRKT twist and fix. And thank you again uh, for your time.